Okay, uh, I'm making this tutorial to go over a couple of ways that ArtRage handles choosing colors. Um, we're going to start with the uh, the color sample panel. Uh, and you'll open that by going up to Tools uh, and going down to the menu where it says Show Color Samples Panel. If you click on that, you'll see the sample panel open up. And it's just a little box on your screen, and you can move it anywhere you like. Uh, if you choose the little arrow up here on the samples panel, you'll see that uh, you have an option to load colors. You can click on that and you'll see a folder open up. Uh, this is the colors folder which is located in your ArtRage program folder. And as you can see, it already has a, uh, a series of different saved colors in here for you to choose from. Uh, these are all defaults. You see here's one for pastel hues. We'll open that one up. You can see they're all uh, well pastel colors. They're all light. I'll just choose one here to play around with. You can see what you can do with that. Now, what I find is nice about this, though, uh, and I'm going to remove the colors here real quick. Uh, is let's say I was already drawing a painting and I wanted to save the colors that I had been using uh, for whatever reason. I could use the color picker here and just click on the color and then go over to my sample panel and click on the new and you'll see it appear there. You can name it whatever you want. I'll just hit some keys here. Uh, and you can add your colors in however you want. And then you could go and save those colors for later. And you just name them and that'll go directly into that color folder uh, for later reference. Uh, and that's useful because, uh, as you can see, the uh, the makers of ArtRage actually saved one for their cat, Paint My Cat, and that's a thread over at the ArtRage forums. And you can see these are all the colors you would need to paint his cat. All right, so that's the uh, the color sample uh, panel. Now, the other way that you can choose colors would be to again go to tools uh, and look for your color options selection and another panel will open and these are all the different uh, settings that you could use you can see it changes down there for you uh, but another good thing about it is you could go down to load custom picker if you choose that you can browse your uh, computer for any kind of photo that you might have and open that you can see it appear down there. So there you can see I have a landscape. Uh, and that works just like the regular color chooser would. You can just click anywhere on that picture and you'll see it selects that color. You can just go up to your uh, painting and start drawing with that. You want a dark blue there. You know, and you can start painting in your sky and your landscape however you want. Okay, so that's another option for you when you want to choose colors. Uh, specifically, say, if you had chosen a sunset picture uh, and you wanted to use those same colors for a series of images that you wanted to do, you know, those colors would always be there for you. You can just load that picture in and just select right from it. Uh, alternatively, though, you could always open up uh, your references and just open that same image as a reference image. You can always select directly from that. but uh, I think it saves on the clutter to have it down in the corner. Uh, and that's about it. I uh, hope it helps.